book of questions? <coughs> Go ahead. Ty, how much work have you actually gotten this, this spring and what's it been like in this different kind of role? Yeah, I think uh, we we usually go for about the first half of practice, uh, still doing everything, you know, indie. Uh, sometimes we'll get some live reps, a lot of one-on-one -on -one pass rush stuff, one-on-one uh, -on -one run block stuff. Um, I think what's been kind of helpful with the older guys is that coach has kind of held us back on some of the team stuff, uh, just allowing those younger guys to get more reps so we can have them ready for the season. I mean, I've seen uh, huge jumps, uh, especially from Sua. Like Sua, he's had a tremendous spring from the beginning to now. I think, you know, you only saw him get better. Same with Van Pop and Vince and all those guys. Uh, Judy as well. I mean, it's only in Cam. I mean, it's only only helping them get better to, and, and prepare for as we go into the summer and then go to uh, in the fall and then into the season. He's finally got an edge to him. Uh, it's been awesome to see him kind of become the player he is. Uh, I mean, he's a big kid who who's able to hold his own, but sometimes, you know, when you're young, you, it's kind of not scary, but you kind of get nervous and anxious going in there against, you know, some older guys or some bigger old linemen. But, I mean, it's just – I mean, he'll, he'll keep himself out of, like, the pass rush one-on-ones to go work on run block and, you know, be nitty-gritty and get that down where he's comfortable enough to go out there and play. That last Saturday was a was a pretty good day for the offense in the scrimmage. So, in the defensive meetings and at practice, what what's been what's been the mood and the tone from Coach White and everybody else on down um, around the defense uh, after that? Yeah. So last Saturday, I mean, it wasn't really it was not to our standard, uh, especially. Uh, as Coach Rule kept the older guys out, we were able to actually watch from a coach's perspective, and you know, we were out there helping uh, coach the young guys and. And you know, be more more of listeners and watchers, and able to help coach them up. So, I mean, just you know, knowing with what we had, uh, and you know, going forward in this week, I mean, we are going to make sure that doesn't happen again, and, and and get our message clear as the older guys in the rooms that that's not the way this defense is. That's not our standard. Uh, so Tuesday and Thursday and today were pretty pretty good uh, from that standpoint. I mean, we may I think we did a 180. I think we finally got our uh, message across. How has being a like, player coach this spring helped you uh, as a player, as a teacher? Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely helped me more as a teacher because you know being the player, you you're only really focused on you and how you're doing and you know what you could do better to help and and you're only getting that feedback from your coach. But as you you know watch it and you're able to watch all all the positions that you're able to play, you're able to go, oh, okay, this guy does this, this guy does this. And if this guy doesn't do this, then it doesn't work with this guy. So I think it's just kind of broadened and really heightened, you know, the football IQ aspect and really understanding the flow of everything on defense. Because, I mean, when you're out there, you're really just – you're worried about doing your job uh, as part of the defense as to when you're watching. You're watching the whole movement and the whole puzzle come together. Coach made it pretty clear that he doesn't want Saturday to be a glorified practice. He's treating it like a real game, and he wants to see how guys respond. What do you think is the value of that? And – and perhaps the limited role you'll play, what are your expectations for yourself? Yeah, so, I mean, to approach like a game is to approach like how we would in the season. I mean, it's, that's how it's going to be in the season. You go, you go, you get all these practices with fall camp, and then you lead into the week, uh, into the first game week. And then I think he's kind of trying to portray that and trying to help the younger guys who, you know, might have not playing as much or, you know, didn't really have a role last year to, like, this is your time to find your routine. This is your time to find what helps you get ready for a game day. Because, I mean, if you don't take it seriously like a game day, I don't think you're going to perform like it is a game day. So I think that's kind of the the way he's trying to go about it. What's that adjustment been like for you this spring uh, as a veteran who's maybe not in all the scrimmages? You know, Coach Rule's kind of made I mean, my body feels great. You know, I'm ready to, to be there on Saturday and then get into summer and get going. Uh, these five weeks have flown by, but, you know, I think us older guys have really taken advantage. You know, it shows that with now we have limited reps and limited opportunities to go out there and be able to fix the things we might have been able to fix, you know, in a practice with getting more reps and team and trying to figure things out. So I think it's just really kind of gotten us to be like, all right, we ha we have to take this time serious. And, you know, there's no there's no playing around. There's no nothing like you, you got to you got to do it now. I mean, at first it took some like convincing because you know 
we love to play football, but they know what's best for us, and so I, I trust them. And you know, so far, I think it's been pretty well for us. You've been around a while, and you've seen the spring game have different formats, different scoring systems. It sounds like Saturday is going to be as close to an actual scrimmage that fans have seen in a while. What are your thoughts on you guys going ones versus ones and making it try to look as much of the game as possible? I mean, that, that's the whole that's the whole premise of it, I guess. You know, you get all these fans to come out. We want to simulate it to be like a real game-like atmosphere because, I mean, to play in front of 90,000 fans is is – I mean, it's fun. As fun as it is, it, it can be challenging because you can get lost in just, you know, the amazement and the awe. And, you know, it helps those younger guys be able to learn how to be in the moment rather than, you know, it's cool to soak it in at the beginning and then it's time to lock in. We got a game to play, you know, they're here to watch us type deal. What kind of a player coach do you, how have you seen those quarterbacks process all the tricks that your defense can, can throw at? Yeah, it's been awesome to watch our quarterback room go. Uh, I mean, Every one of them has done a great job this spring. So, I, I, from my understanding, you know our defense can be a little tricky to to kind of understand from an offense perspective. But I mean, they've done a great job, uh, you know, identifying our defense. So, I'm really proud of them. You had Henry up here too. Could you speak on how that offensive line has grown and, and tested you guys? Yeah, I mean, offense line's only bigger, stronger, and faster than they were last year. I mean, they've just improved and gotten to get to be better, and I think playing together better as a unit too. Because I mean. As an O-line, you have to play as one, and I think they've done a really great job of that this spring. I know it probably just depends on the year and the format, but on, on spring game day, is there have you ever seen much smack talk between the defense and the offense? Have you ever seen any friendly wagers between the two, or is it just all? Well, I mean, there's smack talk every day uh, that we're in practice. I mean, even I mean, even days we don't practice, we'll be in the locker room smack talking each other. I mean, it's just all good fun, uh, and I expect that to happen on Saturday too. Inside the, the draft is this week. Has, has that caused you to do any kind of reflecting on your decision that you made to, to come back and, and just you know, how does that how's that feeling for you several months down the road and, and, and also looking forward to being in this position next year? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so happy I decided to come back. I mean, there's a lot of great guys in the draft this year, uh, you know, but I'm taking the opportunity to take advantage and, you know, just better myself and, you know, with Coach Knighton and Coach Rule and Coach White, I mean, that's the only way that these things can happen. So, I mean, I'm really excited to, you know, just get better. Thank you.